city of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down city Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony if you are new here and today's video is one exciting video. We are actually cleaning my new home for the first time and i'm excited to share this with you guys i know i just recently posted a home tour so i just wanted to update you guys on everything and then we're going to just walk through each room and just tidy up the room i am definitely ocd when it comes to moving it into a new space i always have to clean it disinfect it do all the things so we're going to get that done today and then like i said i'm going to update you guys on all the things and then videos that'll be be coming out soon as well so let's go ahead and get first it right show a great american hall i used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want keep drove us down the ice place while we roll up a blunt. so the first space we're starting in today is the master bedroom i had previously already cleaned the upstairs so the upstairs has the two additional rooms and the loft so i went ahead and wiped down oh and also the bathroom as well but i went ahead and disinfected the bathroom wiped down the walls and all the rooms um, and then I also vacuumed as well so that's sort of what I'm doing in each room I'm gonna dust I'm gonna wipe down the walls I'm going to vacuum and then I'm going to disinfect the bathrooms um, and so the main reason why I'm wiping the walls down is because I can tell that when they repaint it, like whenever they patched up holes and repaint it, they sanded the walls down but didn't clean them afterwards. So a lot of it is dust and just like debris from actually sanding down the wall. So that's why I'm cleaning all the walls, um, which definitely took me a lot longer than expected. But that's pretty much what I'm doing today. And then I'm just dusting the closet here. So as far as all the closet spaces, I'm going to dust. Um, and then I'm also going to wipe down the shelves as well. So I purchased this duster from Target, but I didn't notice that it was broke until after I got it home. And honestly, I was just too lazy to take it back. So that's why you see me holding it so awkwardly is because um, it's actually broke, but hey, it's doing its job. So we're gonna go ahead and get it done today the next thing I did was just a spray a paper towel with disinfectant spray and now I'm just wiping down all the shelves and then we're going to vacuum this space as well me and my hometown baby we go way back all the situation circumstances still we don't mind steady going on I dance around the street lights hey I know every street sign like if you are my friend that you are welcome any moment So now we are in the guest room and like I said, I'm just gonna wipe down all the walls. We're gonna vacuum. We're gonna disinfect like all of the doorknobs and light switches and things like that. And then I'm also going to detail clean the bathroom as well. So just to get, get you guys all caught up. Um, so I haven't posted since like the beginning of January. I definitely took some time off. One, just because we knew that we were planning to move. So it's been fairly busy. Also, 
Melanie has had a lot of things going on in regards to gymnastics, getting all of her birthday stuff together, and then um, also just life happening, honestly. So that's sort of why I've been MIA. We had a move-in date for February 12th um of this month so we started moving in on the 12th and then eleni's birthday is the 14th so she's a valentine's birthday so last week was really really busy getting everything together as far as her birthday we pretty much just took it fairly easy we took her to go ride go-karts and then we also took her to like an indoor pool water park situation um that one thing she loves is water so doing the indoor pool she really really enjoyed that and then we also um just hung out in um a city about an hour from us so we had pretty much like a girl's day and just hung out and did a couple of activities and we just it definitely kept it easy for her birthday this year just because we knew that we were going to be doing a lot with moving and things like that so but yeah so that's here we are now just cleaning everything and then right after this well we had already moved some boxes in but we hadn't moved the big stuff in we actually just moved the big stuff in this past saturday um and so now i mean we're pretty much 75 percent there but we still have of course a lot to do trying to figure out where all the decor is going to go unboxing all the boxes and miscellaneous stuff and i don't know i feel like sometimes the unpacking stuff can be a lot harder than packing just because once you unpack and trying to figure out where all the stuff is going to go in a new space it can definitely be a little overwhelming so so now we are in the guest bathroom one thing I definitely don't normally use is a Lysol, um, so like a disinfectant. I normally just use Mrs. Myers, which is the all-natural, um, all-purpose spray. But just because we are in a new space, I definitely wanted to use a Clorox so to kill all of those germs. So that's pretty much what I'm using, especially in the bathrooms and on the light switches and on the doorknobs. Um, I do have a video coming out where I unpack and clean the kitchen and I did end up using all uh, Mrs. Myers just because I didn't want to do the Clorox around food. So I did make sure to use the all natural multi-purpose spray whenever I clean the kitchen.
one thing I told myself for this move, because we have moved three times in the last three years, and the last two times were definitely overwhelming for me. I just, I don't know, it just put me in a not so nice mood, and I was just feeling all the feels. But this time I told myself I was going to stay a little bit more positive and definitely enjoy the journey instead of stressing out about the journey and wanting to get to the destination so I definitely process this move a little bit differently we're taking things a little bit slower and just not stressing out in regards to what all we have to get done and what all we need to do in regards to now that we are in the new home looking forward to in regards to the laundry room is having a sink in here there's honestly I've never experienced a sink in the laundry room so I'm excited to get the full effect in regards to the laundry space it is definitely much bigger and then like I said it has that sink that we are excited about we actually had to purchase um, we're in the process of purchasing a dryer we already had a washer from the previous house that we owned um, but we ended up putting it in storage just because the apartment came with the washer and dryer so now we are in the process of purchasing a new dryer so we are struggling a little bit right now because we're washing everything and then having to hang things up to dry so you don't realize how much you appreciate something until it's gone so we are definitely looking forward to a purchasing a new dryer.
guys enjoyed this new home clean with me video i hope it inspired you to get something done today and then the next video we're going to be rearranging some things unpacking some boxes detail cleaning the kitchen so if you are needing any type of motivation to get something done go ahead and subscribe i would love for you to be a part of my youtube community here i always post on cleaning organizing laundry motivation anything to inspire you to get something done so thank you guys again for watching and i will see you in the next one bye